Well, good afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Monday. Um, some people are having better than others, I guess, depending on which side of the fence. They're having a rough time with the left hands up. Uh, definitely there. The Giants, well, they're feeling really good right now. Probably the best they've felt all season. And in Buffalo, I guess they've got some questions. So the thing that uh, Micah Parsons brought out uh, was how the difference between, say, the way Dak Prescott is covered, as well as other people are covered. And Josh Allen has not been good. Not been good. He's been a turnover machine. And if you were to have Dak Prescott doing the same stuff, he'd get killed. Now, it's always been my contention that it's not the same when it comes to Dak. And I want to listen to this morning the pundits when they look at the body of work that um, he's got going on this season. Yesterday, the first play of the game is an interception. He's got a fumble in the game. He's turning over the ball at you know record clips right now. And... Usually, they don't hold him accountable. When it comes to Dak Prescott, they just say, well, the Cowboys need to move on from Dak Prescott. Let's see if they say the same about Josh Allen and see how they basically point the fingers. Do they point the fingers only at Josh Allen? Because when we lost to the Cardinals, even though our defense gave up over 200 yards on the ground, um, they still just looked at Dak Prescott when they... You know, they didn't talk about that we were missing three offensive linemen that we had lost, digs, you know, that were decimated. And those are things we found out late in the week before we played the game. So let's listen into what they had to say for this. I will give them their credit, but holy smoke. I mean, the Bills, what exactly has happened to that team? Well, I mean, first off, when you look at Josh Allen, you're telling him every week, don't go be Superman, Josh Allen. But yet, we're going to call plays that force you to be Superman. Mm -hmm. When you look at his completions yesterday, Himbo mm -hmm. sent this stat over. His yards per attempt on completions, five yards. His yards per attempt on incompletions, 19 yards. Mm. You can't have that. Where's the intermediate football? Yeah. Where is where is Josh Allen taking what the defense give him, gives him? When you look back at the Miami Dolphins game, that was all he did. He said, when you give me an opportunity to make a play, I will. When I have to be super, I will and play above the X's and O's. But until then, I'm going to take the right matchup and make the right throw. We haven't seen that the last three, three weeks. and it's Okay, so wait a minute. So, it's the play calling? I, I, and and that, that may be the case. It's the play calling, right? It's not Josh Allen making bad throws or decisions. It's the play calling. Okay, go ahead. It's been so Stefan heavy. Now, if you look out throughout the game, I think nine receivers caught the football. Dalton Kincaid started to get involved. James Cook started to get involved in the second half. They have to do more of that because I believe that's when Josh Allen pulls back and allows his playmakers this to This is play. not a Josh Allen problem. We, have, we no. have seen times when it looked like a Josh Allen problem. I'm just looking. So it's not a Josh Allen problem. Did I get that right? It's not a Josh Allen problem. It up here. I mean, they only had 17 rushes in this game that were not him running the ball. Rex, what have we seen the last three weeks? Uh, I think they stayed in London. <laughs> okay, so it's they became one dimensional and put it all on him, asking him to be Superman. D did I get that correct? Okay. So that was when they <laughs> went to narrow. London and Buffalo they forgot to like come the back. They looked like the best team in the league like, when they left for London, yes. right? It, I mean, they, they, we remember that they obliterated Miami. Right. Then they go to London, all right? They lose there. They should have got beat by the Giants or mm -hmm. could have easily gotten beat. And then we saw this. So to me, yeah, they got some issues. You mentioned about Superman at quarterback. How about them in protection? All right, all, all day we talked yeah, about how they protect the quarterback. People are doing a great job. Well, Kansas City and all that. This guy has to, has to be the guy that makes the blitz, you know, uh, I mean, he avoids the blitz himself. Yeah. It's not Wait a minute. Okay, so offensive line is also part of the problem. The offensive line is, is not doing their job. He's got to take care of the blitzer. So wait a minute. Play calling, 
lack of running the football, offensive line. Do I have that right? Okay. Not picked up. And so, to me, I think it's unfair about this. You know, Josh Allen gets blamed for everything. Yeah. He's the only this was reason not a they're Josh doing Allen anything. Problem. Well, two things that they're off. He gets blamed for everything, but he's the only reason why they're doing anything. It's bothered me. One, the, the lack of a plan versus pressure or the blitz. And then, two, they don't go under center and go play action pass anymore, even though they were the best team in the NFL for a month doing it. Okay, the pressure. <laughs> hey, that linebacker so, so we're back to play calling because now they're not doing play action. So if they were doing more play action, he would be better, right? Okay. Quarterback, okay? It's, it's on us. The offensive line is going to left. Josh has to catch this ball and do something with it. The wide receiver is wide open, but instead it's a run around second and seven. Guess what? If you dump that ball off, it's third and goal from the two. Now it's third and goal from the seven. We have to kick a field goal. Offensive line is going to go to left. If that linebacker pressures, we are hot. means he's unblocked. we got to do something with the ball. They peel with the back. I would love for Josh to quickly go, okay, peel the back, get to the shallow. But instead, we're going to run around, and it becomes a sack. Now it's third and long in the red zone. Again, offensive line is going to be one-on-one. If that linebacker pressures, it's on us, second and nine. Just give it to the wide receiver right now. That's the, that's the answer. That's the answer to the test. Instead, climb up in the pocket, and we're in third and eight instead of third and four. The lack of a plan for it, and it showed up in the red zone. And my, my issue with it is this. That's, like, been a five-year issue. You know, sometimes it's good. And sometimes it's terrible. And when you play against the – like, here's, here's my thing with Buffalo's offense. You're going to play against Kansas City. You're going to play against Baltimore. You're going to play against Cincinnati. Those defenses are notorious for being really good pressure defenses, really strategic pressure defenses. I want to make sure I'm understanding what you're saying, though, and everyone is. Is this – are you saying it's that's everybody. not the quarterback? It's everybody. It's everybody. There are plays there where you say, Josh, we got to get rid of the football. Yeah. I don't know what he's getting taught, though, but it's the plan. It's the coaching. It's the execution. All it's that the quarter, It's everyone. Quick All that sounds quick. good. But Josh Allen made the plays he needed to in the fourth quarter, two drives consecutively to put them up, and now your defense has to stop them. And I don't care who you are. When you okay, so wait a minute. It's everybody. It's everybody. And now he actually did what he was supposed to do, and now it's the defense. Lose all the other games. Dan, George. Okay, so uh, to correct me, uh, and, and I'm not saying that they're wrong, about the way they look at it. But if it were Dak Prescott, take the Cardinal game. Take the Cardinal game. Let's just take the Cardinal game. The defense didn't didn't stop them at all. Defense gave up over 200 and some yards on the, on the ground. 200 and some yards. Yes, Dak had three interceptions, but the game was already over. This was basically when you, they said go out and be a hero, which is what they're saying the problem is with Josh Allen. We had three offensive linemen that have all been a minimum of a pro bowler, two of which will be Hall of Famers, that were out. The play calling. Everybody has talked about Mike McCarthy's play calling. Correct? We saw where we couldn't run the ball in the middle. We were running back-to-back calls up the middle. With Tony Pollard, who's an outside guy. We saw having a guy who can get deep in Brandon Cooks and not even using him. So when I look at the way they deflected on Josh Allen and said, it's everybody, it's the play calling, it's the defense can't stop anybody, it's the offensive line that can't stop it, it's the blitzing package, you know, and it's them asking him to be a hero. I'm okay with them saying those things. I'd be okay if they would say those things about the Cowboys when they lose. Because I can go into San Francisco and say, we lost one of two weapons, Tony Pollard. We had Tyron Smith still playing right tackle when he can't really play right tackle very good. We had Noah Brown and a gimpy Michael Gallup at his wide receivers going against a great defense that can put pressure on. Dak didn't play well. It's everyone. Defense couldn't stop him either. That was a, what they described right there is what happened to the Cowboys versus San Francisco in the playoffs. 
or against San Francisco during the season. But the only person that got pointed to was Dak Prescott. It's time to move, move on for the Cowboys. It's time for the Cowboys to move on. Dak Prescott, he's the only reason. Josh Allen, it's everyone. And if you can't see that, well, me saying anything to you about it is not going to change it because you just can't stand Dak Prescott. That's just the bottom line. Anyway, I hope everybody has a great day, and um, I'll see y'all later. Just trying to keep it real. We'll see what Micah Parsons has to say because he's got no win or no loss to talk about. What will he talk about? Grocery store, I used to actually swallow it, pause, but, you oh. know. Joe's used packing to. and he used to. I used to pack and swallow. I used to do a lot of stuff. Dude, that should be your, like, intro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, your intro. Well, is I'm just known like the for camera. It.